Okay. So, as of late, people have been, not as of late, within the last year or two, been talking about HMS and their so-called struggles with their cars and finding speed. And as of late, like, it all started like at Texas this year where you actually saw Hendrick cars actually run pretty well and could show some speed. Um, uh, but... My main thing is, I just read a comment on here about Jimmy Johnson and how I hate this bullshit where people are like, Hendrick doesn't care about Jimmy Johnson anymore. Um, they're not giving him the best equipment like Chase or Bowman and this and that. I'm like, dude, shut up. It's, that was like hearing people say, Dana, it was the, Dana didn't get the, best equipment from SHR and blah 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 and it's the equipment's fault and this one like I hate that bullshit it's like especially when it was came the Casey Keene too like at HMS like he's got he's like at the end like low end of the totem pole and he's not getting the best equipment from his team and blah 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 I'm like do you people realize that Hendrick as a whole run the same damn engine and same cars they all run the exact same equipment, engines. It's just how these drivers personally want them set up and like, and how that we want to get them handling. That is the main thing. Yes, Jimmy has like has not won since two thousand seventeen. Like. Was it like Bristol or Dover? I don't remember. No, it wasn't Dover, but it was, I think it was Bristol that was the last time he won a race. Like, it's been almost two years since he's won a race, and that's... I don't even know the how that's physically possible for a seven-time champion, but people are saying he needs to retire and this and that, but... Did anyone say that really when Jeff Gordon was running? Like, I swear to God, Jimmy doesn't get the mother freaking respect that Jeff ever did when he was running. And how it was like in this little slump during before he retired. But the thing with Jeff, he knew when he was done. He he wanted to like be like, okay, I'm done, I'm good. Um but it wasn't because he's his lack of um performance on track and this and that. He was just done and ready to be with his family. Jimmy still has that fire to go and compete every single week regardless of what people say. He's not retiring just because anytime soon. Like he's in the greatest shape of his life to do so. He still has that fire to compete. And even though he's not hasn't won a race in almost two years that doesn't mean he's just going to up and retire and you call him washed up. Did you seriously call Jeff Gordon washed up when he was in a slump like this? No, I didn't see anyone say that. But when it comes to Jimmy, it's like, why is he not getting the respect he deserves? He's a seven-time champion, only person to win five straight freaking championships. They're like, there's several different championship formats, um, playoff formats, I should say. And, um, it's like he's won the Daytona several, like, a couple of times. And the Brickyard, the, like, so many, like, the All-Star race, like, this coming weekend. He's won that four times. He's the all-time wins leader for the All-Star race. He's going for his fifth. Like, this is, like, HMS's track like this is like a home track like it's in their backyard basically and um but like Hendrick as a whole has been running so much better but everyone's just still shitting on Jimmy for god knows what reason he's not washed up he's not gonna retire just because you say so that is up to him to decide not you the haters that seem to want to try to dictate what drivers do these days um, but Hendrick as a whole, 
since like Texas has been running so much better. Their qualifying has gotten way better. Their practices have gotten way better. Um, them running in the race consistently has gotten better. Like since then until now, it's like they've led so many laps. Um, in the last few races, they've had like two to three hundred cars in the top ten or top five. So, um, sorry, my nose is like running right now. I have no idea what it is. But um, and the hottest driver within HMS right now is, I think, Alex Bowman because he's been the most consistent out of everyone in that stable besides Chase, who's won two stages in a race. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Like, Chase won a race, two stages, finished in the top five for three straight races since, like, the, the break. That's how stats line up. This week, they're doing all-star race, and this is Chase's first time in the race without having to be in the all-star open, which... Honestly, is nice. And um, from last time I checked, Bowman was leading the fan vote, um, a thing. And so I hope he gets it. But I have a feeling he'll race his way in like he did last year, in like stage one or stage two. So um, other than that, with Jimmy, he he's gonna get back to his winning ways. He might not be as dominant as he used to be, but He'll get back to winning a little bit more consistently and um, going after that eighth championship, hopefully. Um, but to say he's washed up and needs to retire just, just makes you sound that much more of an ignorant, childish person. And to say Hendrick doesn't care about him anymore, I'm like, I'm sorry, but... Did you ever hear what Chase said about Jimmy about two or three times now? As long as Jimmy is at HMS, he holds the banner for that organization for as long as he's running with that team, like that organization. Regardless of the, the lack of wins as of late, but that guy is a seven-time freaking champion. No one else is going to do that in this lifetime like no one else no other driver is going to reach that milestone like he is tied with two of the greatest drivers of all time Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty people want to compare these championships and who was the better driver I'm like all of them equally were the greatest of their time like, Dale was great at his time, like, when he was at his peak, and Richard Petty was the greatest at his time, like, his era of racing. Jimmy, right now, and I want to make a point, like, here, like, someone said, Cal Bush is the greatest driver of, of our generation. I'm like, when I think of our generation, I don't think of Kyle Bush, because he's not... He didn't win five straight championships. He didn't win seven championships. And um, he didn't win 83 races with one team and one sponsor and one manufacturer. Kyle Busch has won one championship, which is still questionable, but I still defend his championship because he worked his ass off for it. Um, and two... The bullshit about the 200 wins is still bullshit because people still want to compare that to being a super impressive and he's the GOAT. But I'm like, he's not the GOAT. He'll never be the GOAT, but eventually, he, yeah, he could be in the Hall of Fame for what he's accomplished, but he's not the greatest of all time and he's not the greatest of this generation. He may be great right now with like winning all the time, this and that, and that's not why I don't like him. People will keep assuming that, but um, with everything going on, it's like lack of like winning or not. Jimmy is the best driver statistically, 
and talent-wise of our generation. I don't give a sh shit what you say. Kyle Bush fans will just argue till their fucking lips fall off um, or until they go mute that their driver is the greatest of all time when he's not even remotely close. Yes, he's won on every single active track, but that doesn't mean you're the greatest of all time. You've won one championship and 50, what, 50-something 50 races? Yes, that's great and all, but that's still just one championship. Some people don't win that many, like, a championship at all. Look at Mark Martin. He was the greatest driver ever to not win a championship. He came so close numerous times and still considered one of the greatest drivers to never win a championship. So, I just want to say Jimmy Johnson will forever be the GOAT of this sport. No matter what people say about it. Yeah, Jeff Gordon was amazing. Four championships, 94 wins. 93, 94 wins, and, um, but it's just insane that people can't, can't show Jimmy the proper respect as a champion, but considered Kyle Busch God and the goat of the sport. Does that make any sense to you people? So, I don't want to hear, Hendrick doesn't give a shit about Jimmy anymore, but they, they still do. Because right now they're trying to get back up to speed with their cars. Slowly but surely they're getting going to get there. Like this season they showed great gains. And I feel like they're going to get like a couple wins. This, two or three wins this season. Hopefully from Bowman and Jimmy. But I don't know about Byron just yet. Um, but Hendrick as a whole has performed uh, amazing the last few. Like since Texas and the last few weeks. Um, so... I just wanted to say that I have to go to work in about 10 minutes or so. I don't want to, but I have to. So I have to go try. And so with my old car, which is weird to say, my Pontiac vibe, before I, I got this truck, I was paying about 25 to 30 bucks for, for gas, for a full tank of gas. Sorry, um, and since I don't have that car under my name anymore, my all my time and money is going to go towards my truck, and um, I just, for the first time, I filled that truck up with gas all the way to full, because it was almost on empty, and uh, I paid almost $55 to fill that, <laughs> that truck up, but I went to pretty much two weeks on a tank of gas. So about close to 400 miles run on that, because I drove off the lot with a full tank of gas from the dealership, so I didn't have to pay anything at that time. Today was the first time I paid for gas, and honestly, gas prices are a little high out here right now. It's like th almost 320 for a gallon of gas which is ridiculous, needs to go down, but I know we're kind of in like a weird crisis with gas as of late, so, but, um, I have like a 17, 18 gallon tank, I filled up 17 gallons for $54, <laughs> that's like 20 to $30 more than I used to pay, so, that's gonna get to me a little bit, but good thing I have a good paying job and uh, I'm working a lot, so that helps. And plus paying that monthly car payment, top of the insurance. So insurance is not gonna be bad. It's like a hundred bucks a month for that. So, so about 600 bucks a month I'm paying towards that truck like on gas and insurance and stuff like that so but anyway I need to get going go to work 
It's going to be a long ass day and long night because I'm closing. And, um, but I don't have to work again until tomorrow night at 5.30. So I'll get to see some of the All-Star action. Not the All-Star race, but the All-Star Open and stuff like that. So I'll miss qualifying tonight. I'll listen to it, hopefully. But hope everyone has a good day, safe weekend, and enjoy the All-Star race.